and shiny. Halt! Freeze, Decepticon! Rah! Shiny! The... Uh, what? Shiny! Mine! Uh... Hey, you sure that doesn't belong to anybody else? Shiny! Mine! 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 Oh, jeez. Uh, one of these little, little dumb ones, isn't it? Shiny! Mine! Mine! You know what? You know what? Fine. Fine. You're too adorable to deal with. You can keep the shiny this time. Yay! Don't, don't tell Bumblebee about this. And definitely don't tell Sideswipe. I mean it. Hello and welcome to anyone and everyone who's decided to watch this video. Today... We're going to make it feel like it's 2015 by taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Evolution Walmart Star Seeker subline Filch and last year's Legacy Evolution Strong Arm, both characters from the 2015 Robots in Disguise series. And since I was going to take a look at Filch anyway, and I wanted to take a look at Strongarm back in the day, I thought I'd kind of make this a video about the both of them, even though it's going to mainly be about Filch. And, you know, this bird, I'm so happy that they made a toy of this bird. I just gotta say it. Not enough fans watched the 2015 cartoon. I'm sure kids must have or something. Because is, is it the deepest Transformers show ever? Is it the most narratively satisfying? No. But it is fun. It is so much fun. And when this dumb little bird showed up, this little, little dummy dumb... Ah, uh, she just, she just hit my heart. I just loved her. She's like the best character in the show, even though she's only in like two episodes. So maybe calling her the best isn't the most accurate term, but man, was she great. I want her to come back in more Transformers stuff. And I'm just so glad that nine years later, we finally got a toy of her. So glad that the camera is barely focusing. I'm just... Really happy that she's here. I want her in modern Transformers media, but they need to keep her as dumb as she was in the original show. Don't try to smart her up or anything. I want her to be the little dummy dumb that she always has been, because I love that about her. And as we can see, she is a retool of the Kingdom Air Razor, but she is a very intensive retool. Done a lot of new stuff for for her, they changed the legs in a way that reminds me a lot of the Studio Series Air Razor because of all the techno greeble they did to make it the bird look more robotic. The head has obviously been changed up to match the art style of the series. Very nice. You can still open the beak, but it's really hard to get in there, so I'm not really going to bother with that. You got the little back junk here. There's obviously still some air razor pieces that got the realistic fettering, which that does look a bit weird. But then you got these wings, these really cool mechanical wings, and they got this changed up a bit that gives it some extra articulation. And that is pretty cool. I really like that. You can get some nice poses out of this version of the bird. She's very nice with all her dark blues and purples. Very Decepticon. Very nice. Very good to see. I, it is a nice representation of the Robo Bird that we love from the 2015 series because it is oh so great. Now let's talk about Strongarm here. She is a police truck. Uh, it appears that some of the parts of her have faded a little bit because of, I guess, how I was storing her. Also, I think Hasbro was still having those problems with their white plastic at the time she was produced. Oh well, I guess. And this figure is kind of controversial. People don't really like this interpretation of her. I have been on the record of saying the 2015 line was a really, really good toy line. It's very slept on. I think it's got a lot of good figures. The one figure in that line I don't like is Strongarm. I don't think it's that good of a figure. I think the truck mode is cool, but I think the robot mode is really bad. And in my opinion, this is the better Strongarm. 
she is also a retool of the Minerva mold that was released first as Alita one, but it was clearly always meant to be Minerva. And because of that, that does make the truck mode a lot more square, a lot more wider. It makes it feel more like a pickup car. Like, you know, if you've seen one of those, you know what they look like. Then a pickup truck, but it's, it, it's close enough. It's got the theme. It's got the uniqueness and storing the gun back here makes her almost feel more like a tow truck. But, you know, it's it's all right. It's good enough. This was never the best looking pickup truck in Transformers, but at the same time, I'm glad she was a pickup truck cuz I I like pickup trucks in my Transformers. I like Transformers that are trucks and Transformers that are trains, and those are the two alt modes we always get the least because Japan wants trains, but America doesn't, and America wants pickup trucks, but Japan doesn't. So they usually wind up not making either, but sometimes we get them. And strong arm is one of those times, and I think she was a good one with her white and blue and her police siren. And yeah, yeah, it's got robot feet in the back, but uh, I, 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 honestly, I tend to forget that they're there. I think it looks good. It's not one-to-one -one screen accurate, but it doesn't need to be, especially when... I really think this is a better figure than the first version of her. So, here they are in their alt modes. Pretty fun alt modes. Pretty good. Uh, the bird, again, this is one of the most posable beast forms in all of Transformers. You probably know that if you got Air Razor, or Movie Air Razor, or Skywarp. I mean, this is our third, well, yeah, it's the third release of the mold studio series. Just used the engineering. It wasn't actually a remold uh, but you know we've seen this engineering before for both of these gals we know how they work they're pretty decent alt modes now let's look at those robot modes all right here are the lovely ladies in their lovely robot modes and we will talk about the pros and cons of them and before we talk about the new one here with uh filch we will talk about the old one here with strong arm and yes yes she is more slender than she was in the show and would i have liked a more bulked up version of her yes but i i don't think this is that bad like one of the other complaints is why do they make strong arm curvy and like She's kind of curvy in the animation style of the show anyway, but she's also big and she can't be as big as she was in the show because she's a shared mold. And of the molds that were available at the time, I think this was the correct choice. I know a lot of people say she should have been the hound mold, but no, no, I think they made the right choice here. The only big problem here is, of course, the shoulders and i mean she is supposed to have her headlights and wheels on her shoulders like this if we're going by her original design which they're trying to emulate but they do get in the way a lot more than the original minerva shoulders and that is a little upsetting especially when you want to want to turn her face and people have problems with the head sculpt because she has a nose because it's been made to do that more uniformed matching singular art style which i like i like that they're doing that i like that they're taking these designs from the different eras and trying to make them all go together so i like that like this is a strong arm we can put next to our g1 cast we can have her hanging out with our blue streaks and our sun streakers and our trail breakers if you want to do that also it took me a while to realize you can still give her her door wings i feel like this wasn't advertised i don't remember her having them posed like this i think they were folded back down in her promo pics and i don't remember the instructions telling you you could give her her wings either so i'm really glad they kept those i think she's just a really nice interpretation of the character she's of course got her little pistol it's never been the coolest looking gun but it definitely is her gun it's in a smoky black clear plastic stick and this is just a good mold i know not everyone's the biggest fan of it it was kind of a weird alita one like it's the closest we'll probably get for a while anyway to a animation accurate accurate alita one 
but it was a great Minerva, and I think it's a great strong arm. I don't care that she's not as bulky as she should be. I think it is the best strong arm figure we have gotten to date. And then we gotta talk about Filch. And let's start with the head here, because she, in response to complaints about those more g one heads like uh, Strong Arms here, Filch has a much more animation-accurate head with no nose, and I actually would have liked the unified head. She looks really good with the animation head, but um, she looks less like her animation model than Strong Arm does, so it's weird for her to have the animation-accurate head. You know, if she was truly accurate to the animation, she would have a bit more rectangular legs with the claws out front, which, I mean, you can technically do that here, but I'm going to keep the robot feet in front. She would have a chest that looks more like Strong Arm's chest, but in purple, she wouldn't have this little thingy on her because, you know, she's an Air Razor retool. She has to be an Air Razor retool. She honestly kind of looks a lot like the Armada Air Razor a little bit with these colors. And, you know, but she's really nice. I like her. It. She's a nice interpretation of that character in toy form. There is one nitpick I gotta talk about with her retooling, and that is with the wings, because this tab is still supposed to go into that slot. If it can freaking focus. Focus. Stupid camera. Focus. But it's it's a lot harder to get it in there. So I usually just keep the wings folded back like this, which kind of invokes the look from the show a little bit more anyway. And uh, one thing I, of course, got to bring up now about the wings that I haven't yet is to truly give her the look from the show. You can obviously pull out these parts so she can have the tiny little wings on her back like she's supposed to. And you can just flare them out, angle them however you want, and then straighten out the pegs here. And you can either give her her... Oh, open the camera. Ah, uh, hate doing that. Give her the wings as some kind of cool fan blade weapons, which is fun. I like that. That's pretty nice. Admittedly, I feel like a little dummy dumb like Filch would not even know how to use swords like this. So maybe not the best thing to do with her. Or what I really like, you can plug them into the arms and hang them down like her wings were in the actual freaking show. And when you do it like that, she begins to look really cool. And uh, she's just really nice here. Like, Filch is a character I never thought would come back. I never thought we'd get a new toy of her. But we did, and they did a really nice job here. Giving her her arm wings like that, that was the most important thing to do. That plus the head. So it's like you can forgive the chest and the legs being wrong. Like, they got the most unique parts of her design down, and it's really striking. I know some people would like the other birds that she was later shown with. But honestly, I think it's kind of cooler to just have Filch by herself. Like, it makes her more unique to be on her own. But I'm I'm really glad we got her. Just like how I'm glad we got Strong Arm. 2015 Robots in Disguise was a great show. It had a lot of characters. A lot of one-off Decepticons who never had toys to begin with. And probably never will. But I'm so glad Filch got to be one that finally got a proper transforming toy. Hang on. Let's get the camera more centered. And, of course, I think everybody would have wanted Strong Arm to live on. And, I mean, she's been in comics, but she's got a new toy, which is really the most important thing in Transformers. And Filch getting a proper toy, again, just great. I think both of these ladies have been done so well in a modern Transformers line. And if there are any characters from 2015 I wanted to see again, these two were the ones to see. I hope we get some more later on. Like, Steel Jaw would be cool. Thunderhoof. I want Thunderhoof so bad. I want the mobster tractor. Oh my god. That'd be so cool to see him in a modern line. And maybe the crab guy... Like, Bisque, 
only so we could get his blue repaint. I'm not a big fan of Bisk himself, but the blue repaint that I'm blanking on the name on, he'd be cool. And Blastwave, because he's a bludgeon repaint, and we have a modern bludgeon toy. And Blastwave was actually kind of cool in the show, so I wouldn't mind Blastwave either. But uh, Filch is great. Definitely, if you missed out on the pre-orders, go to Walmart to look for her. In fact, I thought I missed out on her pre-orders. In fact, I know I did when this Star Seekers line first went up. But apparently she went back in stock at some point, and I ordered her and then completely forgot I did. Because when I got the email saying she was charged charged, and shipped, I was like, what? But I was so happy. I was not looking at the mouth of this, at, of this gift horse. Ugh, I completely messed up that line. Whatever, whatever. Or because uh, I wanted this Filch figure so bad, and she does not disappoint. She is great and strong arm. Also pretty great. She's not as wide as she could have been, should have been. But I think it's a great interpretation of Strong Arm. Love both these ladies. Love that we got modern figures of them. And I think I've rambled on enough about them. So thank you guys for watching. And see you guys around. Hey y'all, it's your Rad Man Blaster here to let you know that this channel is where you want to go for some cool vids. You dig? And if you do, then you should subscribe so you can know the latest going on. Catch you on the flip side.